Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle, and a little bit of dabble of some other stuff. But in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys eight tips on how to elevate your style. I was just sitting here thinking about things that I usually do to up, you know, upgrade my look and stuff, and I just thought that I'll give you guys a quick little video on this. So I am looking at my laptop because they just came to mind and I wanted to share them with you guys. So if this is helpful for you, please comment below. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, all that good stuff. But let me just get started. So tip number one would be to wear sunglasses. Sunglasses, first, let's, let's put this out there. I never used to like sunglasses because well, one, I can't see. So I always felt like they were too dark for me. <laughs> so I never used to like them, but I have come across glasses within the last few years where it wasn't too dark for me. So I have quite a few, but sunglasses to me would have any regular schmegular degular looking like a movie star. So that's one tip that I always tell people, wear sunglasses, it will elevate your look, even if you have on jeans and a t-shirt and your hair pinned up you would look like 10 times better if you had on shades than if you didn't. <laughs> Not taking anything away from your look, but I'm just saying glasses, sunglasses will elevate your look. So that's tip number one is to wear sunglasses. Tip number two would be to buy structured blazers. Now structured blazers for me as a tall woman, they actually help me with my shape because I'm slim. When I get the blazer cinched in at the waist, it actually enhances my no hip having self. <laughs> so it kind of gives me the illusion of having hips. Um, so I do like them. So I do like to buy structured blazers and blazers with like nice buttons and stuff. If I bought a blazer and I didn't really like the buttons, I'll just order some new buttons and have a tailor or a cleaners or whoever just changed my button. So that's tip number two is to buy structured blazers. Tip number three is to wear monochromatic. I love this. I love this. I love this because it doesn't matter what color you have on and what blend of one color that you're putting together. You would always look put together. I don't care. I am more of a neutral girl. So I would do creams and whites and taupes and stuff, all that stuff together. Um, but I think it elevates your look. It has a clean aesthetic about it. And I think that is something that people should really start dabbling into. And two, I think it's easy to put together. Like if you have a hard time finding something to wear, throw that on and you're out the door and you will look chic and good to go. So that's tip number three is to wear monochromatic and you'll be done and looking leveled up. Tip number three would be quality makeup. Now I'm gonna put this disclaimer out there. I am not a makeup guru by all means and I only started wearing foundation maybe a year ago. I want to, I'm going to say a full year, but it may not even have been a full year. I never had any issues with my skin or anything, and I don't have any like hyperpigmentation or anything. So I can just kind of go out with nothing on my face. However, I do know that when I started to wear this particular foundation, it elevated my look. I'm like, oh, this is great. Oh, okay. I like this. <laughs> so... I don't like to wear it often. Like I said, I never had any acne issues so and I don't want to start. So when I do wear it, I will cleanse my face to the fullest because I don't want any issues with my skin at the age of 40, okay? So that's my tip number four is to buy quality makeup. And makeup meaning foundation, eyebrow pencil, eyeshadow, um, primer, you know, all that stuff that goes on your face, but just buy quality. Not saying that you can't get anything from Target and stuff because you can. However, you know, it's just not made the same as a higher end product, in my opinion. Um, but they are still good ones. OK, so let's put that out there because my skincare routine is something that I buy from Target and I've been buying it for years and I love it. So that's tip number four, buy quality makeup. Tip number five. Find hairstyles that fit your face, okay? If you like 20 inch, 26 inch weaves, then by all means go ahead. 
but it may not look right on everybody. You may be a bob person. You may be a person that needs to always wear bangs. Elevate your hair to fit your look and your style and you will be golden, I guarantee you, okay guys? So that's tip number five, find hairstyles that fit your face and your personality and it will upgrade your look. So that's tip number five. Tip number six would be quality accessories. Now, I'm not saying go out there and buy every Tiffany's bracelet and every David Yerman uh, ring and bracelet. I'm, I'm not saying that. Yes, spend your money on, you know, good quality, but pay attention to the stuff that you are buying. You may be able to go to Bloomingdale's or Macy's and find some good quality, I am assuming, but just buy stuff that you don't have to keep buying. If you like gold, maybe you can invest in you know, 18 karat gold pieces. I know nowadays gold is very, very expensive. I'm from New York and they always had like cheap gold everywhere. 14 karat gold, 10 karat gold everywhere. Um, I have some air, are these them? Oh, these are them guys. So these earrings I bought, mm, I'm 40. I might've bought these when I was like 20. Okay. And these are gold. And they're just regular hoops and I've had them for forever and they're 14 karat and I'm glad that I purchased them because I don't have to keep buying, you know, gold earrings, hoop earrings and wasting my money. So invest in good quality jewelry and you will be golding again, like I said. Tip number seven would be tailor your clothes. Get your clothes tailored. I'm sorry, guys, because I'm looking down at my laptop because this was so last minute. Tailor your clothes, okay? Um, again, I'm slim, so most of the stuff that I do buy in the stores, they may just fit me, but they may be a little big in some areas. Um, so I'll just get them just a little nip tuck really quick, and then it fits me perfect. So to me, tailoring your clothes will actually elevate your look because it looks like it's tailored to fit your body. So that's something that I learned years ago, and I think that it's a great tip. Um, it doesn't cost a lot. Just find a great little tailor somewhere and try it out. Try it out. I promise you, you will love it. If it's too big, they will tuck it in to fit you. If you are a top heavy person and not so much on your stomach area, find the clothes that fit your breasts and then get the rest taken in. Okay. That way your breasts are not spilling over and it's fitting your body. <laughs> so make sure it's fitting you properly. And, and anyway, people look at you, they can tell, you know, quality when they see it. Even if it's like a cheaper, like white button down, if you got to tailor it to fit you, I guarantee you, you're going to feel like a million bucks guys. So that's tip number seven. And the last tip is it's not really, well, it doesn't really elevate your look, but it elevates how you feel, which is self care. But self-care to me includes your nails and your feet and like your spas and stuff like that, your bait, your bath routines. When you upgrade those things, you feel good. You, you want to look good. You want to, I don't know, you just want to level up every part of yourself. So it goes from bathing and your spa and your nails and all of that stuff on back to sunglasses, literally. So those are my eight tips, guys. And I think that it will help you elevate your look. You don't have to do everything at one time. You know, it does cost to buy accessories and sunglasses and stuff and makeup and stuff. So don't go out there spending all your money trying to get everything at once. Take your time. Take your time. What's most important to you? If makeup is, then invest in some makeup, you know. Um, I just bought some new moisturizer. I've been using the same moisturizer from... Neutrogena forever and I still buy it, but I still bought something else, Bobbi Brown. I like them both. I still use my Neutrogena one on a daily basis because I don't wear makeup every single day. So that is something that I would use every day and it's cheap, okay? So 
those are my eight tips guys if you like videos like this please comment below and hit that subscribe button and also hit that like guys and you could also hit that bell notification so you know when i do upload new videos i load videos on wednesdays and sundays i'm really trying to stay consistent with this guys um so bear with me if i skip a day I probably won't, but I'm really trying to stay consistent. So if you guys like videos like this, comment below, like I said. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.